Hola, buenos dias. It's so good to see you. Thanks so much for stopping by and joining me for this walkthrough, this flip through of my current Happy Planner system. I'm really excited to be sharing with you all the stuff that I've been working on in my Happy Planner for this past month, the month of May. I've been having a lot of fun doing um, a lot of different spreads in my Happy Planner. I've been really inspired and yeah, I'm just excited to show you all the fun things that I've been working on. So I'm just gonna be flipping through my Happy Planner and showing you everything, all my spreads that I've done in this past week, as well as my current uh, set up for the month of May and um, and yeah I hope hopefully this video won't be too long because it, there is a lot to flip through I have 10 different sections in my uh, catch-all happy planner she's Franken planned um, I have two months of 10 different planners in here that's why she's so chunky she's pretty thick um, yeah she she's gotten so thick that she's almost popping off of the metal expander discs I have her on which um, I think I think it's time to take out all of uh, all of the spreads that I've done for the month of May and I think I'm just gonna switch to instead of having two months for each section I think I'm just going to end up having just one month per section because um, I think having two months and ten sections is a little too much for the metal discs and it's a little bit uh, unwieldy like I don't mind having a really fat planner but it's gotten to the point that it's kind of difficult to flip you know to flip through it and I think I might take out um, take out all the, the months of May now that we're uh, moving into the month of June here and hopefully that will make this a little bit more manageable um, we'll see though I still haven't committed fully to the idea of just having one month in here because I do like having um, I do like having the, the memories in here but anyways let's flip through this as I said uh, this is my catch-all planner she is uh, everything you know at all of my all of my different sections are in this one planner I have two months for each section in here and I have ten different sections and you can see that I have them marked up here on the on dashboard bookmarks at the top so just quickly my ten sections are wellness um, garden academic fitness household budget uh, nonprofit work my creativity planner my scrapbook um, planner and my reading journal planner so i'll i'll flip through it and i'll show you everything that i've done in here and uh, all my different sections okay i think we're in center frame now so let's just flip through this i have my title page my calendars which i don't really use too much but i'm i am starting to write down a few things here and there and i have um oh bugs has joined us so this is the monthly overview for the, uh, for January, which I didn't end up using, so I just ended up decorating with stickers. And then I have a folder which has a bunch of stationery tucked into it, which is mostly like daily productivity sheets. And then we have my sections. So my first little section here is a skinny mini planner and like i said i have just two months for each section in here and my little skinny mini planner she was experimental to begin with i originally got her to be my gardening planner that's why i got the little wildflower theme it ended up being way too small for me so i ended up expanding my gardening planner to this skinny classic which is the just uh it's from the all the feels planner I'm gonna try to actually show you the planner those uh, each section comes from. I have my planner stack here on the side. So this is the planner that these pages come from. And I liked it because it was bigger than the skinny mini, but not as big as a full size classic. And so it wasn't too overwhelming. But so this little skinny mini is my positivity planner slash my wellness planner it's a space where i tend to write affirmations i tend to write hopes and dreams and wishes so this one is the most personal out of all the planners and uh it's also the easiest to um to fill in because it's so small that it literally just takes 
you know, a few words or a sticker to fill up the entire thing. And so I've been having a lot of fun with this and it is, um, yeah, my wellness planner. So that's my first section. And then we have my gardening planner, which I have been loving. I love printing out photos of all the veg I've grown and I love using the Too Happy Planner gardening sticker books for this planner in particular. And it just makes me so happy to see all the veg I'm growing. So these were all the spreads I did in the month of May. And then this is the month of June, which is completely empty. And then I have a sticky note dashboard, which I got inspired to do, to do this by um, Squared Plans. She has um, a, stick, a sticky note dashboard, which I thought was genius. So I put all of my cute sticky notes on this piece of scrapbook paper and then punched it and put it into my happy planner. I love these Rilakkuma sticky notes. I get them from Daiso and yeah they're just a lot of fun and then I have a section of just kind of like random spreads I call them specials kind of like menu specials um, but they're just they're just like one-time spreads so I only have one that I've done so far I did a little bedtime routine spread and that's the only thing I have going on in this section but I just have a couple of blank pages in case I want to do any other type of spreads and then we get into um, the remaining eight planners that are all in classic size. And so the first one that I have is my academic planner. And I'm using an undated Mickey Mouse uh, planner for this. And this is the monthly overview and the monthly spread. So this is my main like work planner. I am in graduate school currently and this has everything to do with that life. So. I did a really cute red Mickey Mouse theme, and then I did a pastel rainbow theme, and then this one was a lot of fun. I did a yellow themed with Rilakkuma stickers, and then I did a colorful leopard theme, and then this was the past week. Um, I did a, a green theme with mostly using this um, Once More With Love uh, sticker book that just came out. So. There we go. And that's the last week in May. And then we go into the week of June. I've already pre-planned a little bit for the month of June, but it's all undated. So that is um, the month of June. And then we have my June monthly. And then I have another uh, sticky note dashboard, but this is all for my fitness sticky notes. And I also, what I've been, uh, something new that I've, I've been doing this past month is I've been sticking a, uh, a, uh, a sticker sheet on the back of the scrapbook dividers that I have in place to separate my different sections. I've been sticking this sticker sheet and it's one of uh, the sticker sheets from a Happy Planner sticker book, but one that had like clear stickers on it. And so I just peeled off the top layer and left behind just the piece that is completely um, that material that, that stickers stick to. And um, I've just stuck a bunch of workout related stickers onto it. And these are all stickers that are usually just, you know, um, I only have one or two left on a page. And so instead of keeping that, you know, that whole page with just one sticker on it, I will put some stickers on here and then get rid of the page. And that way I can always carry with me a couple of workout related stickers and I don't have to think about, you know, carrying around with me the whole fitness sticker book if I want to, you know, reach for some fitness stickers. So I've been really loving doing that for all of my sections. So this is my fitness section and this was the last month in April and this is the month of May. I've been doing a little stamp tracker for the monthly page where every day I work out, I've been giving myself a stamp. Yeah, the month of May, I was super slow with it in the first couple of weeks. I've been slowly getting back into working out. Um, you know, I could show you months where it would be covered in stamps, but this month has been really slow for me. So I've been really trying to recommit to fitness. And then this was the first week in May, I did a blue theme. And then I did like an orange warm toned theme. And then I did another warm toned theme. 
something I, I really like doing in my fitness spreads especially in the food log is putting uh, stickers of like the food I'm eating <laughs> so that's a lot of fun and then this is the current week here I had a lot of donuts this week um, but actually I lost a lot of weight this week because I was doing a lot of field work and field work for me is intense I'm burning about 3,000 calories a day and so I have, uh, yeah, I, it's eating a donut a day. It does, it, and I'm still losing weight when I'm when I'm uh, losing that many calories. So that is last week in May, and then we have our June monthly, which I still need to fill in. I love this this divider here. Yeah, I have the wrong wrong fitness planner for my fitness, and I really like it. So that's just these are just the blank pages in June can't wait to fill these all out and then that ends my fitness section and I popped in a piece of scrapbook paper which I cut to size and then hole punched um, and this is my household section so this is the last week in April and my household section is all about my house it's all my chores it's my meal prep and um, I'm using a dashboard for this which I think works perfectly for household and just like the fitness one I have my sticker sheet here with a bunch of household stickers on it so that I can easily reach for these whenever I want and I'm using um, the the Desert Dreams Adventure Awaits Planner. So the planner that this cover is from, this is the, the section that that corresponds to. So I have my May monthly overview here and then my May monthly. The May monthly I don't really use very frequently because I don't tend to use this for my household. I do kind of, um, I do kind of use it to plan out things uh like big household events like i had a garage sale that i wanted to plan for so i have that down here i also use it to kind of memory keep i adopted a new fish this day so i made a note of that but yeah mostly i don't use this spread too much and then i also always have my grocery lists tucked in here so you'll see these throughout but uh, yeah, these are all my chores and my meal prep and everything that has to do with my household goes in here. So yeah, this was a, a cute spread here. And then here is another spread. And then this was last week. I really went with a blue theme this entire, uh, this entire month because this box here is blue. And so I tend to work with the colors that the planner has and then this is the current week um, I've been really loving these kawaii uh, stickers that I got from Michaels and I have my little bookmark here so this is my household section and then we have the month of June and yeah I'm already starting to get ready for that but yeah so we'll flip to the last page here and then I have a, another piece of scrapbook paper to divide the sections um, because that way I don't you know I don't have like a random you know a random page right following after uh, my households or whatever section came before the, the dividers help me to kind of like separate everything a little bit more nicely so this is my budget section and just like the other sections I have a sticker sheet here taped to the scrapbook paper and it has just an assortment of budget related stickers so that way I have several different types of stickers with me at all times and if I ever feel like I need a particular type of sticker I have it there with me so for my budget planner, I'm using a classic budget planner. I don't know the names, the name of this, but um, I like that they have like these blank pages or these blank grid pages for the like uh, before the month begins. They're excellent to decorate. And so I put this huge Mickey Mouse Mambi sticks here and then I stamped all around it. And then we have the the May monthly overview and then the monthly calendar. The monthly calendar I do like to use to kind of map out pay, uh, when bills are due and paydays and things like that. And then we have all of the monthly overview stuff and then a weekly 
a running total of expenses, which I do really enjoy using. So we have that, and then we have a, a blank page here at the back, which I've decorated with flowers. And again, I put another Mambi stick on this blank grid page with a bunch of florals. And then we have the month of June, which I've already started um, decorating. Something new that I'm gonna be trying to do in June is to do a no spend challenge. And every time I do not spend the money, I'm gonna give myself a little stamp. So bringing that stamp tracking method to my budget planner. And I've already started working on decorating and writing down all of my budgeting stuff for the month of June. So we have just blank pages. And I've decorated this section here and this as well with um, Winnie the Pooh stickers and Mickey Mouse stickers. And then we are moving on to my next section, which is my nonprofit section. I have this uh, fun scrapbook paper here. And, and for this section, I tend to like using kind of minimalistic and neutral colors, um, like a muted palette for my nonprofit section. I don't know why, it's just I, for some reason, I really like this color palette when I work in my nonprofit section. So, my nonprofit section is all of the community service I do and all the nonprofit work I do. Mainly two organizations I'm involved in one which is science communication, and the other which is education in. Um, jail and prison and so I have a bunch of wild styled stickers here on the sticker sheet for this section and uh, this is the last week in April my May overview which I didn't use too much and this planner is that Stephanie Nicole planner or Stephanie Fleming I always forget what um, what planner it is and I just realized I have not been showing you the, the planners that these uh, planners or these sections come from but this one is this one which is the stephanie fleming define your passion nurture your creativity and take hold of your dreams planner i'm not sure what the name of this planner is to be honest but that's where this these the section comes from this is the monthly overview which I use pretty standardly. And then here's the first week in May. Again, my color palette is always very minimal for this. And then here's the second week of May. And as part of my science communication group, I am an artist. And so I do a lot of art for them. And so sometimes I stick my art into the planner um, just to have it there. And so I did this color pencil piece. And uh, yeah, so that's there. This is the third week in May. And then this is the current week in May. And again, I'm an artist for the organization. And so I drew this little logo here and I just clipped it in there. And I didn't do too much these, these past couple of days. And that is the month of May. And then I have the month of June in here as well. So I'll skip through that. And then my next section, I, div I have this scrapbook paper in here and uh, this section is my creativity section so right now it's mostly my YouTube stuff it's um, learning Japanese and it's learning Python which is a computer language as well as a few other things like um, practicing my traditional art skills like painting and oil pasteling things like that and uh, learning how to skateboard so this is all like my fun stuff which I like to uh, make sure that I'm doing consistently so this is the May overview. I have some goals here about things I want to do. I have some YouTube ideas. And this planner is, um, it comes from this one. This is the planner that these pages come from. It is a lined vertical and it says yay for today on the front. So uh, for the monthly overview, I try to give myself a stamp every time I do one of my creative hobbies. So I did a lot of YouTube this month, which is this little raccoon stamp here. And I didn't do <laughs> much of anything else. 
um, the little cat is whenever I do Japanese and uh, these other stamps are for the other things I like to do which as you can see I didn't do a lot of the other stuff this month which happens so this is my first spread in this particular section and this is very much free-flowing it's just I, I just let myself do whatever I want in this section it's my creativity section I decorate I practice my characters in Japanese I practice my kanji in Japanese and I make a note of you know when I want to film videos when I want to do an art lesson it's just my creativity planner so I have a lot of fun with this planner and this is my current spread uh, for this week and something I really liked about this particular spread is that I I did I have this coloring book this little mini pusheen coloring book and I colored a uh, a page and then I cut it in half and then I taped it into this spread. I thought it was a lot of fun. So there we go. That's the month of June and the month the next month is all blank and then we move on to my second to last section. So I have another little uh, scrapbook planner um, or a scrapbook divider here and I didn't tape a sticker sheet to the back of this one because I don't necessarily use a particular type of sticker for this section so this is my social uh, my social section so this is all my social life it's everything that I do with other people with friends with family I actually don't plan in this section very much I mean like I do plan in that I'll make a note of when I expect things to happen but I always do it on sticky notes so kind of like here, I'll show you um, this is the current week here and even though it's currently like late Saturday, I only have sticky notes here because I don't write down things um, until like after the week is done. Like Sunday, I usually go back in and then I kind of uh, memory keep. So this is more of a scrapbook than it is a planner, although like I do use it in like a planner sense in that I do like plan things out and I reference it. Um, so I did, you know, plan this all out, but I don't actually go in to decorate it until the week is done because this is more a scrapbook for me. It's more like a little like um, a memory keep. So this is the last week in April. As you can see, I printed out some pictures here. This is the monthly overview. I you know just decorate it, put out pictures, and for um, for this section, I'm using actually a six month undated extension pack from a Mickey from uh, the Mickey Mouse line. So actually this doesn't, you know, have an actual planner it came out of, it was just an extension pack. And I got the extension pack because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, you know, for... Uh, it was kind of experimental, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep on doing this. But definitely after doing it for six months now, I do, I'm at the very... Uh, I think I only have... Uh, well no, I think I've only done this for four months because I have two more months left in the extension pack. But after doing it for four months, I can say that I do definitely want to keep on doing this because I love doing it. I love memory keeping. I like um, compartmentalizing all of my social activities and events and life into its own section because um, yeah, it just keeps things organized. So for the monthly, I just decorated um, on days when something like big happened. I do like to make a note of it on the monthly section and then uh, the weekly is a combination again of planning and memory keeping and journaling even so uh, it's funny this spread I really really loved how this spread turned out and the reason I made it like such a beach theme was because I was gonna go to the beach with my friend this weekend we had this whole beach day planned but actually what ended up happening was it was way too cold to go to the beach we ended up going to the mountains instead so we had a mountain day not a beach day but this whole spread was beach themed so it was kind of funny it goes to show you, you know, that even if you have the best and most beautiful plan set up, you know, anything can happen. So that's why I ended up, uh, I ended up starting to uh, decorate and fill everything in until everything had happened, um, because things like this would happen where, you know, life happens, people's plans uh, change, and uh, I just wanted to make sure that that I didn't plan a whole spread and then it didn't end up happening. So this week was a lot of fun. This was the second week in May and me and my mom actually went to Joshua Tree um, just for a day and a half 
And so the spread was all about that trip. And of course, we only went two days, Wednesday and Thursday, but I didn't have a lot going on um, other days. And so I ended up just kind of uh, taking up the whole spread with my Joshua Tree adventures. So that was fun. And then this, this was the third week in May and there wasn't too much going on this week either but i did have a fun uh, date with my boyfriend we went to go visit uh and in the we went to go visit an aquarium store um it's a fish store basically and they had all type all types of different fish and so i kind of did like a little aquarium spread here this honestly the spread was kind of disjointed i had a lot of different things going on um, but you know sometimes that happens and then this was the past week and I had a couple of fun things happen. I went to go get donuts with my friend. Um, I hung out with my, my lab brother. I had sushi with my family. I took bugs to work. And so yeah, I just feel, I like filling this planner section with fun memories. And then this is the current week. And like I said, I don't fill out the week until Sunday, if not the week after. So it's still pretty blank. And then we have the month of June and there it is so that is my second to last section and then we have my last section which is my reading journal so I have a scrapbook paper here and again I don't have a sticker sheet on the back here but I'm thinking of adding one because I do like to use a particular type of sticker in my reading section um, so that's this is the last week in April and then my monthly May overview. So my reading section is um, it's it's perfect because I am using the horizontal layout which comes from the book club planner. So let me see if I can find this planner. Here it is. So this is the planner that this that this section comes out of and it's book themed. So of course it's perfect for a reading journal. So I'm a huge reader and I like to journal about what I'm reading and having it in a planner setup kind of motivates me to read a little bit every day and to write a little bit every day. So um, yeah, I really like I really like this, uh, this section. But the monthly, I don't really use too much. I just make a note of when I finish reading books or when I start books or when like I have a book club meeting or something like that. And then this is my first spread of the month of May. Um, as you can see, sometimes I fill it up completely. I have my little reading goal section here at the bottom. I print out photos of books I'm reading and sometimes I'll journal about uh, whatever I'm reading. Sometimes I'll write down the definitions of words I'm learning. So I have a lot of fun with that. And then uh, this is the second week in May. You know, some days I end up not writing very much, but that's totally fine. I also like um, putting in little, uh, my little tea bags here. I, I like to drink tea a lot and reading and tea always kind of like go hand in hand for me. So I like putting in my tea bags here. And this is just another list of vocabulary words I'm learning. Um, those are in Spanish. And then this is the second, the third week in May. And I have more vocabulary words here. And then this is the current week. I have my beautiful dashboard bookmark here. And this week I actually ended up not reading very much because I was really busy at work and so I just wasn't reading too much. So I have a lot of blank spaces in this week, but that's totally fine. You know, you can't always uh, do everything. So yeah, and then we have the month of June here and already it's starting to get really, really hard to like flip my pages, which is why I'm thinking of, um, of just having one month at a time in my planner because it might be a little bit more manageable but yeah that is my planner um i had a lot of fun with this planner uh this past month i really really enjoy working in it i love the creativity the the freedom with creativity that you can have with a planner and yeah i just love it so yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and i'll catch you in my next video bye